The analogy I can give with landscapes um, is that the opening fanfare, for instance, um, um, which is da 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 dum da da dum da 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 that sort of feel to it, quite ritualistic in a sense. But by the end of the piece, that has become just a rhythmic pulse in the background of what else is, is going there. But I mean, ten minutes later, that's the link between the ending and, 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 and the beginning. Now, when I set out to write it, I didn't know that that was what was going to happen. <laughs> So, so I, I set out writing it and, and I started off with this fanfare idea, which countless composers have done, but it's quite a good way of announcing, getting going as it were. But over the period of the piece, it began to transform itself and at one point the composition started to have a life of its own. Now that happens to me most times when I'm writing and I look forward to that point because then also to a certain extent, I, then it starts, I get surprises, I get nice surprises actually sometimes not so nice surprises because it goes somewhere I don't really want it to do that uh, and then I have to rethink but a lot of the time it, 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 it's, it just picks up this inner life of its own and then for me it's become a, a kind of a living a living thing in itself also my music tends to be in, in new music terms reasonably approachable uh, to people on, uh, on the whole um, not always because sometimes Sometimes I get, I do get times when I start thinking to myself, I can't express this anyway in a way that, except in a way that's difficult to listen to, because that's what it's about, you know. Um, um, but for the most part, um, um, I do try to to write things that people um, can understand at some level or other. Uh, and I don't think that's writing down to people. That's not what I want to do at all. The same as when I'm using ethnic instruments, for instance. I don't try to write Chinese music or, or gamelan music. I use that sound world as a resource and actually try to write my my music. I don't want to imitate other things because other people do it far better anyway.